Yeah, so this is a work um, as a collaboration with my colleagues, uh, Wei Chen, Zhong, Zhou Rei, and Xiang Fu. So this is about the, um, the conventional task about entity disk abbreviation. So um, the first definition of the task is that uh, given a mention in the text, we want to identify the ground truth entity behind the mention in a normal snarge base. So there are some several conventional solutions, and it's very essential for those to leverage the context, uh, which is the surrounding text of the mention. And the conventional approach used like um, contextualized neural language model, or large language model for the continuous representation so that we can just like embed that into a vector space. And um, some works use the bi-encoders or cross-encoder to jointly model the mention and the candidates so that we can find the corresponding um, candidates of the entity uh, respected about the mention. But there is this, some of the um, huge challenges. First, the candidate selection from the enormous knowledge base is very hard especially for the cross-encoded approach, which um, represents some better capability to model the relations between the mentioned candidates. And it's very hard to just like select or model from like billions or millions of the entities of the knowledge base. Another challenge is about the computational time, because it would be very exhausting to pretrain on the extensive corpus with large of the entities. Also, for some tail or some certain like very um, like um, less popular entities, could be very insufficient of those annotations uh, about the text or the mentions in the training data. So uh, it comes that we can have some of the solution to address these challenges. So in this work, uh, we present a framework called Extreme Multi-Label Ranking for Entity Disambiguation, and it consists of two stages. In the first pre-training stages, we will train a extreme multi-label ranking model based on the positive instance feature aggregation so that we can have the entity features and have the hierarchical clustering to have the hierarchical label tree. For that, we can use the uh, July multi-label training to have the extreme multi-label ranking model. And it can be considered as a retriever to select um, a few limited set of the uh, just like candidate entities. And with those candidate entities, when we can enter the second re-ranking stage, based on the, uh, those candidate entities with a li very limited amount, then we are allowed to use the cross encoders to just like um, extend the ranking score for those entities so that we can for, um, just like pick up the entity with the highest score to be the entity we want to predict. So for the hierarchical clustering and the, just like the kind of hierarchical label tree, we use a simple backward instance features um, of the both of the dimension and the context so that we can just have the instance features of those of the, in the training set. And based on those training features, then we can construct the label features based on the positive instance feature aggregation we call PFA. So that kind of a thing we can just like leverage the normalization over the just like summation of the instance feature of the corresponding label. And based on those label features, we can use a balanced k-means hierarchical clustering to construct the label tree. So that we can just like absolutely have the semantic um, just like representable uh, label hierarchy of those entities. And just like to, to be some more details, we also try some just like uh, embedding technique like BERT or some other um, language model to re replace the backward features. But at the end, like the backward feature is presenting better in our studies. And based on those uh, structure, then we can have the extreme multi-label ranking for the entity retrieval. So basically for each of the non leaf nodes in the hierarchy, we can learn a one versus O linear model to rank its child nodes. And we also supply the teacher forcing negative as the hard negative sampling to have some beta learning procedure. And after we learn model, when we can conduct the Bing search to have a fast inference to select the top relevant entities based on the, uh, the probability that we have over learned linear model. 
And finally, like we can obtain the top relevant entities to be the candidate with a very affordable time competition of time capacity. And based on those uh, to like set, uh, retrieve candidate entities, then we apply the BERT best cross encoder to re-rank the relevant candidates. And you will just like leverage the title and the abstract of those entities in the knowledge base to denote the entities. And for each of the um, just like retrieve entities, the scores of the re-ranking can be the just like concatenated with some special token and over a uh, multi-layer position layers. And finally, then we can select um, the predicted entity from the candidate entities with the highest scores. And for the just like optimization detail, please refer our paper for, for more just like specifics. And for the experiment, uh, we evaluate the, our method uh, on several benchmark data sets in two tasks. The first one is about the entity disambiguation and it consists of one in-domain and five out-domain benchmark data sets. And we evaluate uh, with the in knowledge base micro F1 score. The second task is the page level document retrieval. It consists of one in-domain and two out-domain benchmark data sets, and it is evaluated by the accurate scores. So for the task one, we can see just that averagely, uh, our framework can um, beat the step uh, by 1.74%. And we also notice a very interesting phenomenon, just like some of the um, just like, uh, previous studies will use the additional uh, annotations from the Wikipedia hyperlinks. But those hyperlink could just like have some information leak of the ground truth. So we also conduct a study to remove those additional annotations to compare with the methods that like have the same uh, just like the basis to, to, to be in the same experiments of the comparisons. Then we can see just like for those um, baseline methods with the additional annotation, after removing those uh, just like potentially leaked hyperlinks, then performance will significantly drop a lot. So July like means like just for some of the previous study, they may need to July like, uh, July um, re represent like the kind of the comparisons in the experiments. But overall, just that we can see the um a very significant improvement over the baseline methods. And similarly, in the second task of the patch level document retrieval, we still can see the framework proposed by our paper average beats the uh step uh, by two point thirty. A percent in both of the just like in-domain and out-domain uh, just like uh, data set and tasks. And we can also see in this task, with only the retrieval, we can still just like get a very competitive performance. So it's just interestingly that how we can do it by those retriever about the recall. So we conduct a study about the retrieval performance uh, on the recall matrix over the different number of the retrieval entities from one to just like, um, maybe 15. Then we can see with only about top five entities retrieved by our method, we can achieve about more than 96% uh, of the record score. So it means that just like, um, if we just like have an Oracle recommends that we only need to select the top five entities um, selected by our retriever, then we can get a correct answer. So this is also the upper bound of the method that can get in the final accuracy. And compared to the uh, previous baseline methods, we can see actually those methods may be good, but they are bounded by the record they have. So this is the record uh, if I, of the different method. Then we can see like many of the methods only have about like 86 uh, or um, even lower record score to have the final prediction. So it means that However, they can do it about the uh, like uh, the, the the scoring method. They they, they cannot reach um, better score um, based on their selection of the candidates. Also, because uh, our just like uh, training is over the hierarchical structure, then uh, the training efficiency is very good for our method, especially for the pre-training. So then we can see like um, on the other data set. We only need about 2.25 hours to pre-train our like, uh, retriever compared to the um, baseline method, uh, we could take up to 10 days. And also for the fine tuning with eight GPUs, we only need about uh, one hour to fine tune our model for the re-ranking. 
So far, I get some conclusions. So the extreme multi-level ranking can be a very great uh, retriever with like uh, 98 or over 95% recall score for in-domain and zero-shot out-domain data set with only back-of-war features. And with the high recall candidates and the cross encoder, just like the simple cross encoder as a re-ranker, um, uh, our method can precisely identify the entity just like behind the mention. And also um, our method uh, averagely beats the state of the law by 1.74% in F1 score on the entity disambiguation benchmark asset. And also we have the improvement of the 2.78% in accuracy and 1.90% in recall. And finally, just like compared to the best method, baseline method, we can improve the training efficiency from days to only an hour. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Yeah. Do you like? Uh, is there any questions?